October 28, 2023, sitting here with the river, flight lower, by the way. <laughs> and the question is, what's the question? Do you gain speed on the, on the Mustang by taking the scoop off like Stiletto Racer back in the day? Putting so, it in the wings. Putting it in the wings. So Anson Johnson, I believe, was the first one to do that. Well, to put him in the wings at least. And, and he won the races one year. And I don't, that's a great question because the, so may, it, really this is a challenge for all you gearheads out there who might know the answer, might want to discuss it. Put it in the comments and let's figure out if anybody knows anything. What I know is that people say that the scoop on a Mustang underneath generates more thrust than drag. And I just don't see how that is. Um, I don't see how that can be. And I know you're adding heat. So the, the, Air goes in one end, right, and it comes out the back, and you're going to neck it down. So it's going to, because you've added all the heat and all the energy, it's going to come out faster than it's going to, you know, it comes out faster than it went in. However, it's going through the scoop at what, 25% of your, of your speed. So if you're at 400 knots, it's going through there at 100 knots. So it's in order to get jet thrust out of a scoop like that, I just... I just don't buy it. I don't believe it. And although people have said that that's absolutely what happened, and and if you if anybody saw it years ago, there was a thing called the steam powered afterburner, is what it was. It was and it was a sketch of a guy who had taken. They put a scoop on it like a Mustang on whatever this racer he was drawing up, and um, and they put a scoop on it like that, and he used the what was it, injected water, but um, but because the water vaporized and expanded in volume, it would then push out the back with the air and add jet thrust was his theory. And if that's true, then the Sea Fury that we had already did that, right? Because you've put water on the coolers, although does it actually turn to steam? I don't know that it turns to steam, it trails out. But um, I guess that's a real question. We need some, so we need, we need some engineers. Any engineers out there? But that's the real question is, is, does it gain, you'd lose the drag, so back to the original question. You'd lose the drag coming off the bottom and you'd put it in the wings where it's got to be more efficient, but then you're rejoining the air, you know, forward of the flaps basically is what Stiletto did. And it just, <clears throat> the air just dives back into the slipstream. And that's probably a good place to do it, but on the low pressure side, but be interesting to know if the stiletto guys, Alan Preston, if you're out there, um, I think he built that. I think, Alan, you built that airplane. In fact, Alan told me he built that airplane at Reno this year. So um, so what was, I know there was a theory about losing that, but was that ever proven in any test flying or any of that kind of stuff? So anyway, that was the question is, does the scoop, taking the scoop off, putting it in the wings, um, save drag? And that'd be a fascinating question to truly know the answer to. I mean, like the Benjean Mustang back in the day, it they put them into tip tanks, right? Moved them from the scoop and put them out into tip tanks, which I just thought was the stupidest thing ever because those are big bulbous pieces of crap. You know, thought the Mustang scoop's a pretty tight little unit. So anyway, that one never appealed to me at all. But anyway, any you geek engineers out there, um, I'd love to see if you got any thoughts on that for sure. Peace.